So my Christmas present has arrived. I've been wanting to do a QAV 250 for a while now. So Hobby King wanted to charge me $50 for my last order. So this time I went and bought something off eBay, PFL Hobbies. See how this one goes. A whole kit. Emacs motors. Mystery 12 amp ESCs. Gem fan props. Distribution board. Pretty standard QAV frame from China. Support, screws, and a multi Wii SE. All for $162 delivered. So, well, we'll see how that goes. Step one. Make sure you leave these four free for the arms. So you're there and there. Step two. Motor arms on. It's actually a pretty straightforward build and for I think the first time ever, instruction step by step. It comes with a frame. Something new. Okay, just a bit of advice, don't tighten up any of the bolts until you've actually got them all in place and aligned, otherwise the frame won't be aligned properly. Right, so there it is. And if you compare that to the HK250, which is an X frame, it's, uh, this one's an H, so pretty much the same sort of size. I was a bit dubious at one point, but I, I managed to uh, fly my HK250 upside down again. Managed to do every prop this time. Getting a bit of a habit. Always trying to do too much. While I'm comparing, this is the DYS 1806 motors. And these are the Emacs that come in this kit. They're also an 1806, 2280 kilovolts Emacs. These ones are 2200, I think. But pretty much the same motor size, but very little on the base of the Emacs's. So whether that makes them lighter or not, quite possibly. Unfortunately, the screws provided, the ones with the big head, aren't long enough to get through the frame mount the motors. So I've got some of these other smaller ones, the smaller head, which uh, countersunk self-tappers, that, uh, well sorry, Phillips heads. So they work, so I'll build it up with that and uh, try and get some better screws later. So I've found just enough screws. So that's not going to hold me up. Onto the ESCs. So going by diagrams, uh, clockwise, any clockwise, clockwise, any clockwise. So this one solder the ESC on directly, and on these ones I'll cross over one wire. That should make that one go clockwise, and that one any clockwise. That's the theory. One other thing to keep in mind, these uh, Emacs props, uh, the motors are uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise threaded, so make sure you get them on the right ones. So I think I've got it right. If that tightens and that stays still, if that spins clockwise and that stays still, then it tightens, so and vice versa. I had to pull one ESC off and make a start again. Anyway, we'll get there. Basically I'm just cutting the ESC cables off, soldering them on like so, pulling the heat shrink up, and they're done. End up like that. The uh, distribution board provided with this quad would probably run an octocopter 
with 40 amp ESCs. Bit of overkill for this one. So I'm just running up the wiring loom. Just run the one wire through the SK60 XT60 XT60 connector on the end. That'll run off my 1300 milliamp battery sitting up on the top. So done the, the positive, now I'll do the, the negative and uh, whack a controller on it and we're nearly there. And that is the electronics in the wiring room. Pretty neat in the end. Pretty happy with that. Right. We just had a big windstorm come through here, so we've lost power. So we're going to be doing the next section in the mold dullness. So unfortunately, the multi wii SE controller it uh, doesn't have the USB on board, and I don't have the FDDI connector, so I'm going to, have to buy one of them. I'm going to have to revert back to the old KK2 trusty, whack it in, and test it all out. Okay, time to test it. I've plugged in my FR Sky D4R2. Haven't synced it up yet, but we'll just plug it in and see if it all powers up. Make sure nothing goes smoke. Safe P1. Alright, so much for my earlier theory. Armed. Anti clockwise. Should be going clockwise. Clockwise. Should be going anti clockwise. Anti clockwise. Should be going clockwise and. Woohoo! Got one right. Anti clockwise. Oh, need a three fix through them up. Flip the wires on that one. That one and that one. So I've adjusted the uh, the cables. We'll arm the KK. Oops. Okay, just tested the receiver. It's all good. So go back into. Arm mode. Clockwise. Anti clockwise. Better. Okay, time to put it all together. And there's the final product. The gem fans fit on the motor mounts perfectly without any need for any of the, uh, the spaces. JK sitting in under there. Fast sky. Power at the back. Plug into 1300 kV battery. All there is now to try is. Get it all right, so here we go. All plugged in. It's a bit windy, so could be a bit interesting. Right. No buzzer installed, so be a bit quiet. Oh, all looks good. Mm, it's in the air. Probably 
shouldn't have gone up that high with this wind. Never mind. Bit hard to video and fly at the same time. When I've got the video on the controller. Thanks for watching.